Patreoners, it's Christina from Old Roommates, of course, and I want to thank you first for listening to our uh, Goodwill Hunting episode this week. So Brian and I decided to share with you a, um, a selfie story. It's like a shared selfie story about meeting Ben Affleck. Hey, Patreoners, it's me and my winter hat. It's faux fur, don't worry. It was like, I don't know, $6 on Amazon. Um, but yeah, I have a combination of bed head and um, a cold house. So I'm wearing a winter hat while I give you the selfie story. So we were at a club called the Big Eve Easy. I'm not sure exactly when it was, but it was about the same time that he broke up with um, Gwyneth Paltrow. It was right around that time. And so Brian and I were in this club and I, this club is like a, it had like two floors. And from what I remember, which may not be very accurate, but we'll try. We were, we were down on this first floor. Um, so it was many moons ago. We were at this place called the Big Easy and um, it was me and Christina and maybe Lisa. Uh, Christina's then roommate, so before we were roommates, she was roommates with this woman, Chris, um, Lisa. I think it was the three of us, and we went to the Big Easy in Boston. And I remember kind of, I didn't recognize him at first, but Brian recognized him, and he was up on the second floor. And he's like, I think that's Ben Affleck. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, let's go up. And we were with another friend. I think it was my old roommate, Lisa. And it might have been somebody else, but I kind of feel like it was just the three of us. But I, I might be wrong about that. And then, I'm sure still now, uh, Boston, you could not smoke in the clubs. It was kind of a new-ish new, new -ish rule, I think, 20-something years ago. And you couldn't wear baseball caps. And that was just a weird thing. So no smoking, no baseball caps. So um, what was funny is, like, this phantom enters the second floor where we were wearing a baseball cap and smoking. I'm like, neither of those things are allowed here. So it was kind of weird because like, you, obviously your, your attention would go to someone wearing a baseball cap and smoking in a place you can't smoke and wear a baseball cap. And he was also like six feet tall, which I'm six feet tall. Um, he's, I don't know, I think he's a little taller. He's a little taller, he's probably six two. Um, and it was Ben Affleck, like split second. I was like, it's Ben Affleck. And In any case, so we decided to go to the second floor. And what was interesting was like, nobody had recognized him yet. Like he was just hanging out. He was leaning over like the, um, the balcony, kind of like just looking down. He had his, some of his posse around. I almost feel like Casey was with him, but I could be wrong about that. And I remember him having like a baseball cap on and he was like trying to be incognito, but not being really great at it. I don't know. It was just something about it. Like he was kind of obvious, but trying not to be obvious, if that makes any sense. And Christina was already standing at um, the rail of the second floor that looked down to the first floor dance floor. And he was... Um, walking over and sort of standing. So it was like Christina, then me, staying a little bit behind her, and then Ben Affleck was approaching. I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna like totally start talking to Christina. And he's kind of like inching over and kind of like, you know, like assessing the space. And I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, so we go up to the second floor and I remember like kind of walking towards that area and it was kind of crowded but we walked through that area and i'm like i'm just gonna let's just stand here so we were on like the same like railing as him and i looked over and he kind of looked at me and i sort of like looked away and it probably seemed like i was being flirty but i was actually kind of like i didn't know what to do so then i'm like looking at him in the corner of my eye and i'm noticing like him sort of shimmering shimmering not shimmering shimmying like slowly like easing his way towards me and i'm like oh my god i think he's coming over towards me and he got he actually got right next to me and i remember like rubbing a, 
against his arm, like my arm rubbed against his arm. And um, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm touching Ben Affleck right now. I'm touching Ben Affleck. It was really, really fun. And suddenly, and without warning, we hear this gaggle of a bachelorette party. And this um, woman taps me on the shoulder and she says, excuse me, does he mind if, when people come up to him? And I'm like, um, just be quick about it. And I was like, just pretending I was friends with Ben Affleck. Like she thought I was friends with, with Ben Affleck. And I was like, just be quick about it. And, um, and she's like, oh my God, I'm too nervous. I don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't know. All of a sudden, like I'm ready. Like I'm, I'm really feeling like we're going to actually have a conversation. And all of a sudden I hear, um, oh, it was like, I forget. It was like some woman. It's like, like what? Some like some girl. And she says something to the effect of like, can I, can I say hi to him? And I thought she was saying it to me at first, but it was actually, I turned around and she was actually talking to Brian. And they were being really loud. And so I was like, I was like, hey, Ben. <laughs> like, as if I knew him. Like, I had to, I wanted to go along with this, with this ruse. And he's like, hey. And I was like, um, I think they want you to sign the t their t-shirt, if you don't mind. And he's like, yeah, sure. Super nice guy. And of course, Brian being Brian, he's like, basically, just without missing a beat, he's like, yeah, um, he said something like, yeah, but, um, but make it quick or so, something like that. Something like that. He was like, yeah, make it, but make it quick. Making it seem like he was friends with him. And then I think he actually said to Ben, I think he actually talked to him and said something like, this person wants to say hi. I don't know. I might, that might be a bad memory. And as he's writing it, the girls are like truly screaming. Like they're, they can't, they're being so loud, right? And as he's writing on the back of the girl's um, bachelorette t-shirt, like they went around getting like guys to sign her t-shirt um, with like marriage advice. Um, so he, as he's writing, um, and he's writing something nice, like, I guess I missed my chance, which is super sweet. And he signs it, Ben Affleck. And, um, but as he's writing it, I'm pretending like that I'm reading as he's writing. And so he's writing it and I'm like, go fuck. And the girls go, no, don't write that. Don't write that on her shirt. Don't write that. And as I said, I was like, go fuck. Ben Affleck started laughing at my joke. And the girls were like, don't, don't, please don't write that on her shirt. Oh my God, it's awful. And like, we both started laughing because you know, me and Ben Affleck are total buds. So, uh, one thing I do remember that was really, really funny was this woman was like, can you sign my shirt to, to Ben? And he starts signing the shirt and Brian is like behind, behind her, like standing next to Ben. And he says something like, go fuck yourself. And she, uh, Ben laughed. I remember him laughing. He's just like, oh my God. Like he, so they made like a little connection. Um, but sadly, the girls were so damn loud that then like sauntered away and Christina never got a chance to mix and mingle and presumably make out with or date Ben Affleck. So it was really, really cute and really, really fun. Um, I never got a chance to talk to him, but I did rub up against him, which was exciting. And then after all of that, like he just like slunk away. Like, I feel like it was, I feel like he went into his like own little section. Um, and like, just didn't, you know, wasn't with the population anymore. So that was that, that was my missed chance. I hope whoever it was, you know, getting married, I hope you are listening and realize that you just, you kind of screwed up my whole chance of meeting him. I could be Mrs. Ben Affleck right now. Um, but alas, I'm happy with my own little superstar, Matt. We all grieve. Um, it was such a moment, such a night, uh, but it was fun and it was nice that he was so nice. Um, and that's the story. So we hope you enjoyed our 
revisit of Goodwill Hunting. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for your support.